I respect I... the... This is my right. I won't see it taken from under my feet. You act. Yes. Mistress. Uh, the uh. You fight me. So here's the new boat strats. On this save I have cloak and dagger, but it's not necessary for this to work. You go up there, you pick up Melody, and you dump her as far on that ship as possible. Then you pop adrenaline, and you go down here. So, don't have cloak and dagger, or otherwise too little AP, you can use the infinite movement glitch. And that'll do it just fine. Either way, you go down here and combat drops and all your cooldowns start coming back. So you wait until it's about two seconds left. You go back upstairs. Then you keep track of whose turn it is in here. Because these weaponized monks are the ones that go last. You kind of want to butt in back into combat just as they get their turn. So that you immediately come up in initiative order. Sometimes if you get a bit too early, they can target you, which is a little bit unfortunate, but doesn't really matter all that much. So now you do have to abuse... Well, I think you can do it with the additional AP as well, but I might as well abuse the infinite movement glitch because it's fun. And you teleport Dallas off of her own ship before she gets her next turn. And then you simply join Malady over here. So now that the two of you are gathered here, basically the only one that can damage Malady is the cloaked figure and the only thing he's going to do is chuck his uh, staff at her and at some point he'll throw another curse on you but it's not going to matter at all. So you just kind of sit here and watch. And I might think, wouldn't it be far more efficient to stay below deck and do some stuff over there? Like for instance grab some loot, or kill some things for experience safely, but you have to stay on deck for Malady's channeling thing to progress. I think if it's her turn and you're not in combat, it doesn't actually work. So the fastest way to do this is to just stay in combat the entire time. There's one tiny thing you can do that's efficient, which is... Just that's a whole bunch of gold you can sell. Here we have. May you die in a great beautiful nice leggings, place. new gloves, tactical retreat skill book, which I actually haven't learned yet, so that's gonna save me money buying it. It's I'm pretty sure the loot in this is random, so don't rely on it. Just uh, get it for gold. Anyway, wait for one more turn. Is it two more turns? Either way, this should take about four minutes and have zero risk whatsoever. The only thing that I'm not sure about is whether this also works in co-op. Because for some reason, whenever you're alone, you roll much higher initiative than you otherwise do. Something I've noticed. Almost there. A little longer. But I'm not sure if that's actually the case that way, or if you, when you play co-op you can also get the first turns. In that case, you just have to have one person jump on the boats and the other person do the teleport stuff. And it should be totally fine as well. Or they can just get killed and maybe try to take some of these mo mooks with them. Because you should get resurrected at the start of the next area. Damn, I'm good. There you go. Absolutely no risk whatsoever. Works every single time. 